alone with Rome. Welcome back. My guest is the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. They open up the season with a 20-16 win over the defending NFC champion Arizona Cardinals. Sean Hill joins me. Sean, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. Sean, it's great to have you on. So you open up with that win over Arizona. How much does a win like that do for a young team's confidence? Yeah, it was a big win for us. Um, obviously, it's the, it's the defending champions of the NFC. Uh, it's a division opponent. It was on the road, a uh, very hostile environment. Uh, we were able to go in there and, and do what was necessary to win the game. And, uh, um, you know, obviously we've got another big one coming up this week with Seattle at home, another division opponent. We get our thought about that win, though. You took that team down the field, 15 plays, 80 yards. You ate up half the fourth quarter with that drive on the road, a huge drive. What were you telling your teammates in the huddle? Well, I, I, there wasn't anything I really had to say. Uh, everybody was saying the same thing. You know, this is this it's go time now. Uh, this is our chance. Uh, let's go win this thing now. Uh, we got down there inside the 10-yard line. Uh, we knew we didn't want to settle for a field goal. We wanted uh, we wanted seven. We wanted to take the lead, and uh, and that's what we got. Hey, Sean, your story bears repeating. I mean, it's a story of perseverance. You went about five years and had a total of two snaps. Not only are you starting, but you're starting for one of the most storied franchises in the NFL, a franchise that's had incredible quarterbacking. What an amazing ride it's been. Oh, no question. No question. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. It, it's been unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it, it's, it's just unreal that I have an opportunity to play for this franchise, um, especially with all the great quarterbacks that have played here. Um, just quite an honor. Hey, Sean, at any point during those five years, did you think to yourself, you know what, maybe it's not meant to be, I'm just not going to get that shot? There were times. There were times where doubt crept in my mind that, uh, that you know what, maybe, maybe it won't happen for me. Uh, I was kind of out of the league a little bit after my fourth year. Uh, San Francisco brought me in uh, real late in June of that year. Um, it gave me an opportunity. Uh, I was fortunate to make the team and, and stay in the league. Um, but, uh, yeah, there, there were times, especially after that fourth season in Minnesota, where I felt like uh, – uh, you know what, maybe it's not going to happen, but uh, I, I kept trying to keep a positive attitude about it whenever I did get the opportunity and signed uh, here in San Francisco. Uh, just tried not to, uh, to let it pass by. Yeah, you've proven that you can play in this league and you can win in the league. Why do you think it took so long for you to get the opportunity? You know, I don't know. Um, I was an undrafted guy coming out of college. Uh, I guess I, I didn't really have a lot of the tools that people think that they're looking at or, or looking for in the NFL. Um, I don't know, and then, then uh, the guys in front of me uh, stayed healthy in Minnesota, and, and I never really got a chance to play. And then, uh, uh, like I said, when San Francisco picked me up, um, finally had an opportunity to play. Uh, we did well, and and, uh, um, and here we are. Hey, Sean, as part of it's the eyeball test, I mean, fair or not, guys will eyeball a prospect, and if you don't look the part, they might look beyond you or overlook you. Is that part of it? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I think it happens a lot. There's... There's a lot of quarterbacks who, who have had successful careers that were undrafted or late round picks. Um, obviously, the NFL Europe experience was great for me and, and was great for for a lot of guys. Um, now now uh, these these guys don't have that opportunity to go over there and play. But uh, but yeah, I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, you know, a scouts or, or whoever they, they they look for guys with the big arms or, or uh, great athleticism. Um, I think the most important thing is winning, wins and losses. And, and how you uh, how you run the team. Yeah, you know, plus the poise and composure, and you've got to keep your head. Even last year, in the second half of the year, when you played really, really well, you go into the offseason and you find out Kurt Warner is coming up for a visit, and he's a free agent. What did you think when you found that out? Uh, I, I wasn't too upset about it. That's just the way of the league. Um, you know, I, I know the front offices have to do what they have to do. Uh, they had an opportunity to bring in a great quarterback and, uh, and give him a chance to play here, and, and I didn't take offense to that. Uh, uh, luckily, things worked out the way they did, and and, uh, and he went back to Arizona, and I'm here. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, Sean. It's a war of attrition. You've made your point. You've battled. You've persevered. You're the guy. You certainly have earned that. But there's one thing that they cannot take from you no matter what, and that's that study that was in the Wall Street Journal, the study about faces that are symmetrical. You are in the top seven, so I don't care what they say about your speed or your arm strength. You've got a symmetrical face, which means you're a handsome guy, and that's not opinion. That is science, my man. They cannot take that from you. How about that? Scientific fact. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, it, 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 it's, it's impressive because I, I have two chins. Most people just have one chin that has to be symmetrical. I have two chins that both have to be symmetrical, and I got it done, you know. Uh, facial hair, not real symmetrical, but uh, yeah, how about that? I was as surprised as anyone.
everybody. Yeah, they can't take that from you. It seems to me you've got double <laughs> the chances for success, and I think it's a great story. Sean, I'm glad, really glad to have you on the show. Thanks for making time for it. Good luck. We'll do it again soon. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. I enjoyed that, Sean. You earned it. Good job. Next up on the forum, USC will reportedly start here in court over Matt Barkley. Does he really have a chance to earn that starting job? We'll get to that topic more when we...